Okay, so today we're going to be looking at how can I estimate the solution to a word problem. We're going to be looking at our third strategy today. And we still have our rounding poem here as a reminder. And our third strategy is called front end estimation with adjustment. So when do we use this strategy? Well, there's two places where it works best. One is when you are really good and confident with your place value. So you can split your tens and your ones quickly and easily and add those together fast. The other is when the numbers are not that close to your nearest 10. So we're going to take a look at an example so we can see that in action. So this word problem says Jeffrey and Willie went to the park. Jeffrey saw 27 dogs at the park. Willie saw 44 birds. About how many dogs and birds did Jeffrey and Willie see all together? So I can tell that we're using this strategy because the numbers 27 and 44 are not close to the nearest tens. The nearest 10 would be 30, which is 3 away, which is too far. The nearest 10 to 44 is 40, and that's 4 away, which is also too far. So I know now why we're using front end estimation. So we're going to look at our keywords again. All together we know means to add and about we know means to round. So we're going to be using those two ideas to go through. And I have our steps written down for us and I'm going to do them again as we go through. So we have 44 plus 27. So front end estimation means that we split these numbers into their place values. So the 4 is in the tens place, so that's 40. And the 2 in 27 means 20. So 40 plus 20 equals 60. Then we're going to look at our ones place. We have the 4 in the ones place plus 7 in the ones place, which is equal to 11. Now, 11 is just a little more than 10. And I'm adding this in because I know in some of our questions, they like to really get down to the multiples of 10. So I always want to relate my answer to a multiple of 10. So now I can take a look at both of my numbers from 44 and 27, we split it into 60 and 11, which seems much easier to add together now. So 60 plus 11 gives me 71. And because we always want it to be close to a multiple of 10, we're going to say that 71 is a little more than 70. So now we can see how our rounded answer 71 relates to a multiple of 10, which is 70. So you're going to try this and I want to see your notes tomorrow when you come in to see how well that you are using this strategy. Good luck.